I did a recent video that did not do well. It was on a podcast that I just love that I've started listening to a lot. It's called Girls Next Level. Even though it didn't do well, I've still got to tell you something fascinating that I heard on their podcast the other day. So stick around for today's video. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I hope you will like and subscribe. This channel does videos about different topics, and I hope it's things that you'll enjoy and encourage you. Subscribing to a YouTube channel is free. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video is published. Now to today's video. So years ago, almost 20 years ago, there was a reality show on the E! Network. It was called Girls Next Door. It was supposed to be the story of the three girlfriends that lived in the Playboy Mansion. They were supposed to be girlfriends of Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner at the time was 79 years old, I think, when the reality show started. I think season one, they celebrated his 80th birthday. The girlfriends, I think, were from 19 years old to maybe 27 years old, something like that. At one point during the podcast, Holly says she is six years older than the youngest girlfriend. And I think the girlfriend had her 20th birthday on the show. So I think, but she had already been a girlfriend for a year or so. So I think she became a girlfriend when she was just turning 19. And then the reality show started when she was 20. And I guess Holly was 26. And I think probably Bridget, <laughs> this may be more information than you want about these Hugh Hefner girlfriends. But I think Bridget was the oldest, and she was probably 27 or 28 at the time. And apparently, if you've seen any documentaries about Hugh Hefner and his lifestyle, his girlfriends were usually 30 or less. I think if they were over 30, they were a little too old in his book <laughs> to be his girlfriend. Even when he was in his 80s, he had these really young girlfriends. But I am way digressing. But something I heard on their podcast the other day that just fascinated me, and what I want to share with you today is, isn't it so true how, how things can look glamorous at a distance? And sometimes we think the grass is greener on the other side. And so it, it was really fascinating to me the other day. They were talking about the mansion. And they interviewed one of the producers. It was a producer from the first season of Girls Next Door, the reality show. And I don't remember if it was Bridget or Holly, but they asked this producer all these years later, as they interviewed her for their podcast, what she thought about the mansion the first time she visited. Well, I think she was being honest. She said she was shocked and disappointed when she went inside because it was very outdated and it smelled horrible. She said there was a terrible dog smell in the mansion. She said when you drive up, it's a beautiful mansion and the grounds are beautiful, but when you enter the mansion, it stunk. It smelled like dog. And if you watch the reality show, they do have a lot of dogs. They had two dogs, I think, that were just the mansion dogs that the staff took care of. And then I think Holly had four dogs. Bridget had a dog and a cat. And Kendra, the youngest girlfriend, she had two dogs. So there were a lot of animals living in that house. And I just thought that was so interesting that even though they're living in a mansion, it still stinks and smells like dog. Another really interesting story they told they were talking about a scene they did where they're sharing a bottle of wine with Hefner. It was the three girlfriends and Hugh Hefner sharing this bottle of wine that was a gift from Whoopi Goldberg. Well, Whoopi apparently was a comedian back in the day, and she was great friends or really thought a lot of Hugh Hefner. According to Holly, the Playboy clubs gave a lot of work to comedians. And Whoopi worked a lot as a comedian in these Playboy clubs. And she had gifted Hugh Hefner this bottle of wine. 
Holly made it sound like it was an old bottle of wine that was supposed to be pretty expensive. When they opened the wine and they tried to drink it, <laughs> they said it was just foul. It had turned to vinegar. And I thought that was kind of ironic as well, how they have this expensive bottle of wine given to Hugh Hefner as a gift from this, at that time, apparently, she was a successful comedian. And then when they drank it, it was vinegar. I don't know. There's just really something to say about sometimes things are not always as good as they seem. Maybe the mansion looks beautiful from the street, but when you walk inside the door, it stinks. And maybe this bottle of wine that was supposed to be expensive and fabulous, once they opened it and took a drink, it was sour. I don't know. There may be a life lesson in there somewhere. If you've never seen Girls Next Level podcast, you may not like it. It's kind of raunchy at times, but I did find it fascinating while I was listening to it. Girls Next Level podcast is not for everybody. It's actually raunchy in places. And there's times I think, why am I listening to this? Because some of it's kind of weird and out there. But I also think it's interesting just to hear about different lifestyles. And it honestly makes me appreciate my simple life. What do you think? Do you think sometimes we can be sucked in to a beautiful package, but what's inside isn't as great as it's been presented? I do a lot of videos about QVC, and sometimes they're guilty of that. They talk products up and make us think they're wonderful. And then when we get them home, they're not so great. Well, I hope you have a wonderful holiday. As I'm making this video, it's almost Thanksgiving. I'm not sure what day I'll publish it, but it'll probably be getting close to those Christmas holidays. I hope your Christmas is a good one. And you're not tricked into thinking things are better than they really are. Enjoy your family and your friends this Christmas. And remember the true meaning of Christmas and the real reason for the season. Until next time, bye.